Hello and welcome to the second episode of the Cranky Sports Show. And um we're back. We're back after a after a long week. Um and hopefully you got a chance to uh see the first show on YouTube. We didn't make it to the world of podcasting, unfortunately. But uh, as you probably get a guess, because you're listening to this, this one did. Anyway, so in joining me this week, we have um, Aaron and Kev back. So, um, hi guys. Hello. 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 And how are we? So, um, just a brief, uh, what we'll do is we'll just go for a little bit of uh, what we've been doing. So, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll go last. So, um, uh, I think we need to start with Kev, don't we? Because <laughs> he's had massive news. <sighs> So, so yeah, I've had a I've had a fantastic week. Started a started off uh well late Sunday night. Uh my new little arrival finally decided to turn up a full twelve days late. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh... When she when she finally got here, she she got to move on. We're here in less than fifteen minutes when she finally pushed her way through. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh Okay, cool. So everything, so was it a normal birth and all that? Everything went well, yeah. Uh, well, she gave us a, she gave us a scare to start off with. She um, because everything everything happened so quick. She come out with cord round her neck. So oh dear. not being not being well, not going into it too much, but uh, she come out like blue and limp. Were rushed off straight away. Wow. And a uh, hysterical partner. <laughs> yes. And I was trying to stay nice and happy, and everything were fine. Yeah. Um, it sent to take an eternity for doctors to actually bring her back. Um, okay. Yeah, they wow. were. Everybody was saying that everything were fine, but she didn't look fine until until we got her in his arms again. So, yeah. oh, that's good. But she got given all clear, so everything's yeah, good, good. everything's a okay now. Nice one. I I don't know if you remember when when I, we had our kid in the new year. I was well just before Christmas, uh, <laughs> New Year. I was wait. I was took the old um. PSP into hospital with me. Do you take any gaming device with you? Or you, or did you? Were you strictly I, on good behaviour? <laughs> I really should have. <laughs> we, were, we were there from <laughs> half, half past seven on Sunday on Sunday morning, and uh, she didn't arrive while five, well six minutes past nine at night. Oh, uh, really? I were even calling out for uh, a mercy mission for somebody to bring me a uh, an iPhone charging wire because yes. I went completely un- unprepared. <laughs> Yeah, so no. I got got a little bit of mobile gaming in, but that, that's about it. That's about it, right? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we'll hear about that in a bit. Excellent. Um, and uh, anything else? So, uh, what? Anything else happened exciting in your week? I, I don't think you can top that, really, can you? In terms no, of not exciting. It, it was more that because obviously we had new arrival, I had an extra couple of days off work, so I had Tuesday off for deadline day, and it. Irritated the life out of me. <laughs> yeah, I bet. Yeah, yeah. You couldn't get rid of anyone, could you? <laughs> <laughs> we were we were expecting. Well, we were hoping for at least three players, and uh, I won anyway. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Instead, they played about with one player that they announced on uh, basically Monday. It was, wasn't it? Yeah. So, yeah. So United made a real mess of that. Uh, except. We managed to scare Madrid off for there, yeah. So. <laughs> yeah, that's a weird one, that, isn't it? They're, they're going to have to um, try and ease him back into the squad, aren't they? Now he's uh, had his um, had his time on the bench. Yeah. Who's, that, who's that keeper who's been playing? Is he Argentinian for you? Uh, I he's, think. I think is he? Yeah, he's there international, isn't he? Ah, yeah. Yeah. Um, did he? What he? He was. He was basically a, a reserve. Was he severe? I think first. Okay. Yes. Uh, yeah. He was basically sent out on loan for a couple of, for a couple of years. Yeah. And then we picked we picked him up. He's had to be playing, but he doesn't okay. seem anywhere near for day day standards at all. So yeah, yeah. But I've seen I've seen all sorts of rumours that Real Madrid made a mess of it. They got there uh, that they're paying him a load of money to move for free uh, at end of this year. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and I've also seen bits where De Gea now will sign a new deal for us because he's not happy with Madrid, but. You never know. Yeah. What, what did you actually think to the six o'clock deadline, though? It was weird, wasn't it? I I thought it was weird because I, I'm 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 used to it ending at like eleven o'clock midnight. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, I know why. Enough work. You know, you know, you know why, don't you? And holiday was it? I I don't know. I think <laughs> I mean over the last few years, Sky Sports have obviously had the live build up late yeah. in the evening. It's like when they started bringing in the old derby matches at midday on a Sunday, so before the pubs open. If you imagine 6 o'clock 
is transfer deadline, it stops all the idiots going out with their dildos and their. <laughs> and their I don't know if you've seen them. They're humping in the <laughs> yeah, background yeah. and stuff like that on Sky Sports. <laughs> well, they did that news. this year anyway, didn't they? They, um, oh, did they? moved it, moved them into stadiums and stuff. They they didn't yeah. have any fans on tele on TV. We are at all takes away all the fun, yeah. <laughs> doesn't it? <laughs> Yeah, it's the first one I've had off for like a couple of years, so I was expecting I was all revved up for a good uh, a good deadline day, and it yeah. just fell flat for me completely. It, it's a big thing, isn't it? I mean, like they they have the deadline day in in FIFA, don't they? Yeah. Do you, do you, I don't think it works that well because it, you got these sort of nine hours, and uh, I tend to have done all my business before that. I don't I know about I, you. I tend to get people in early, so yeah. with football manager and stuff. But I suppose you got the choice to not partake. So there is that, I suppose. But yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't know. It you feel like you should be though, don't you? Cause you do. Yeah. yeah, and it's also in Football Manager, I think, the deadline day. And yeah, it is, yeah, yeah, it does a full, it does a full thing, same that yeah. deadline day. But uh, everything's already done by then for me. Yeah, <laughs> because you run out of money. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're already <laughs> at season and played. So. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Yeah. And what about you, Aaron? What have you been up to this week? You sorted out your internet. Uh, yeah, that was the biggest yeah. thing for me. Uh, no, finally, don't. at long last, got the internet back and running. Yeah. The, only, the only problem I've got at the moment is I'm running a, uh, a what is it, a 15 meter Ethernet cable all the way through the house, which the other half's not happy about, but mm. we'll get that sorted at some point. <laughs> um, and yeah, I mean, for me, it's just been kind of now the internet's back up and running getting EA access and downloading pretty much every one yeah. that's available to me. Because you've got um, the Xbox. Where it was uh, Did you buy that just before you went offline? The that's X- right, yeah. yeah. Yeah, literally a couple of days before we moved. To be honest with you, mate, most of them are offline all the time anyway. <laughs> <laughs> it feels like mine is. I'm downloading it and you have to kind of, is it online? <laughs> yeah, exactly. That installing thing hasn't moved. <laughs> so. Yeah. It's, to be honest, I'm a bit disappointed with it. It seems to be um, playing up more than it's Maybe it's just because I'm just not used to it yet. You, you will get... Uh, the thing is, right, you, you, do you have PS4 as well? Yeah. You do. Yeah. And, uh, you know, there's no denying that does that does serve as a, as, a, as a good point of entry. And when you get the Xbox after the PS4, you're kind of thinking it should be of equivalent. But, you know, you do get used to it and you pers- persevere and it's well worth it in the long run. There's some cracking titles coming out for the Xbox in a few months. Fours or six and, you know, and the Tomb Raider, but we won't talk about that because it's not practically sports, I suppose. Did she play any sports, Lara Croft? <laughs> I'm sure in one of the ones you could go on and play at the tennis courts. Or skiing, <laughs> skiing, I guess. Skiing. Skiing. <laughs> <laughs> right. Rock climbing. <laughs> kind of a sport, isn't it? And you've got some uh, new equipment. You, see, you sound very Barry White this week, Aaron. Very... Yeah, and I think I think just trying to look at some more as well, just to try and make get it all completed mm. properly. Um, yeah, yeah, it's been quite good. been quite enjoying surfing Amazon trying to get some good deals and yeah it's and a hard else. thing yeah because yeah. I, I I picked up a couple of bits of tech as well of course you might sound probably a little bit better with the Yeti mic and the decent bit. um you know it just just helps so I'll talk more about that um on Sunday because I had some fun and games trying to get this thing to the house but uh, no, anyway no, no, no. so um, let's move on then uh, let, before we talk about uh, sports game we're just going to have a brief talk about the real world just to kind of get us all excited about sporty games so um, this week we just heard us talk about it uh, the transfer deadline kicked in on uh, when was it Kev you mentioned Tuesday, six, uh, Tuesday oh, six, six o'clock it's Tuesday. Tuesday Tuesday night yeah wow okay and just, um, a, just a thing on that sorry um, for, it's first time ever I've heard that Spanish transfer window closed a day before ours. It's I've weird, ne- isn't it? I've, I've never heard of that before. Has no. that ever happened before? Uh, no, not that I know of. And that, that was the problem with De Gea, wasn't it? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what actually happened with De Gea then? He, he had this problem. Every, everything we're going through, and um, we were taking Navas, their goalkeeper they bought to replace Casillas. Oh, right. We, he was coming the other way, and what? everything was supposed to be sorted. Yeah. Um, paperwork were going in. Mm. Uh, there were a few hiccups with Navas's deal, and then um, it's all rumours from there. They were saying that United didn't get it in in time. United have proved that they got theirs in in time, mm. uh, and it turns out Madrid never submitted anything to La Liga to uh, actually register him. Okay. So, and then they said that that's why they'd have problems to appeal decisions, try and push it through anyway, because yeah. they might have, they might have been able to sign him on Tuesday. But they had no leg to stand on because it turned out it was Madrid that didn't put their paperwork in. Mm. Mm. Which, Very strange. 
then come out that uh, they were like basically bunging De Gea a, a bucket load of money to move on a free. Really? So, and, and it kind of begs belief that they waited all that time up until the last moment. I mean, it was so. I mean, we knew in the summer yeah. <laughs> that the deal was kind of on the table. You know? They were basically waiting for United to uh, flinch from their price, and United really? never did. And Madrid expected them to. It never happened. I don't know why United are getting rid of De Gea anyway. They'd say he's one of the, he's the best keeper in the world, kind of currently, isn't he? Or one of they the are. Top I think it's three. Probably more just to cash, basically cash, get some money for him this year rather than um, again wait while next year because it, well, it, well, I don't think he were ever really intent on signing a new contract. Mm. Uh, I think is it Madrid that's his uh, childhood club and stuff. Oh, so, right, yeah, 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 so, he's and so he grew, grew up supporting and stuff like that. So. Yeah. They were always they were always going to move back. He basically done what PK did to uh, Barcelona. He he moved straight back. So okay. Um, another another interesting one uh, on towards deadline week was uh, Kevin De Bruyne off to off to Man City. Um, did, what do we know about him? I I don't well, he, really he know was, much about him. It was the Chelsea days, wasn't it? That yeah. Kind of, it, the, all I remember him from. Um, it's just another. It's a weird one, though, isn't it? It's how many of these players that keep leaving the Premier League, going off, and then coming back for substantially more. Because yeah. Pogba was going to be the same, wasn't he? If he would have come back, who yeah. did he start with? Didn't he start with United? Man United. He, he started yeah. at United. Yeah, yeah. Went, yeah. Uh, moved, moved abroad and uh, yeah. basically, basically grew. And, and it's more. I think it's more that Premier League aren't giving young players a chance. No, they don't. <laughs> of course, they're not. It's not just English players, and it's just all of them. It's just all of them. Yeah. Kevin De Bruyne, as far as I remember, um, he went for free. It, Jose Mourinho yeah. just got rid of him. Right. <laughs> yeah. Just gave him away, and now it's just cost City fifty-five million <laughs> to bring him back. Unreal. So it's it's, it's unbelievable. Yeah. Is what he, about... He's um uh, Belgian, isn't he? That's right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah and he... I heard he's didn't he score a couple scored, of course... scored last night with. Uh, Fellaini yeah. and, <laughs> that's right. yes that's all, all and, and, and Hazard he, had, uh, he chipped in as really? well finally with a goal <laughs> wow. and of course we can't, we can't I suppose we're talking transfers and I'll bring in a bit of the because of the live championship football tonight of course Wales won last night they're on the brink of qualifying for their first tournament and I heard something like yeah. 50 years they're on the brink of something historic then. <laughs> definitely but it's a bit of a one man show isn't it <laughs> oh, oh yeah but you wouldn't complain, though, would you, if you're Welsh you were. at this moment in time? So. England would kill for Bell, I reckon. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, and uh, but anyway, and I, I watched Scotland earlier. They they lost to the, to Georgia, and um, it, I think they they just mirrored what Celtic did the other week. Just fell over, and they just got nothing. I mean, their main strikers, um, what, Fletcher from Sunderland, and he's yeah, yeah they're bottom of the league. And mm. Probably won't move. <laughs> I don't know what you guys think, but yeah, I feel, I feel like after last week we were maybe battering Scottish football a little a bit. A little but... bit, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, just, it's just not good. I mean, <laughs> it's a shame. Scotland are going backwards, and then there's, yeah. there's like Wales that, according according to uh, mm. today's press, can get up to second in world <laughs> if if results go their way. If if they win uh, on Sunday, they go fourth in world. Who wow. Wales? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No way. Yeah, yeah I, 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 I was reading it. I wrote, I wrote loads down about it. Cause I, I, it yeah. shocked me that um, Wales Wales are better, better than England now. Yeah. Uh, they move up to ninth. <laughs> because basically um, teams like um, Brazil and Portugal and stuff are, all, are only playing like friendlies. They're not worth as many, as many points at FIFA rankings. Mm. Mm. So basically because Wales are winning their games, and if if they qualify and beat Israel on Sunday, they'll move fourth no matter what. Even if all of them win their friendlies, there's Chile, yeah. uh, Colombia, Brazil, Portugal. Yeah. If they win all their friendlies, it makes no difference. Uh, Wales are still going to go fourth if they beat Israel. Blimey! And if wow. if other results go their way, <laughs> they can get right up to second in the world. <laughs> <laughs> uh, unreal, unreal. Anyway, let's uh, let's just pop back to the transfer window and kind of link it to uh, to sort of FIFA and Pez, really. You know, and and, and football manager, which uh, I'm looking at some release dates of of the games coming out. Of course, you know, FIFA and Pez always wait until the transfer window closes, doesn't it? Which yeah. is um, quite. They, they usually come out what about three or four weeks after transfer deadline, don't they? The yeah. football games, and and I saw football managers like November. 
which is understandable because it's like a database, a, a yeah. humongous <laughs> database. But, you know, imagine if we got rid of the transfer window, which I've heard so many people talking about. Literally, I, mean, I think more of the January one they're actually talking about getting rid of. But uh, yeah. imagine if it actually ended at the beginning of the season, that's it. You can't do anything, and maybe maybe we'd see these games earlier. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, we, we could get us games earlier. Do you, <laughs> do you think that? Reason. Do you think that would benefit though, bringing it forward? Because they're in such tight development cycles as they are, aren't they? Yeah, they probably would. that one year they'll get brought forward. You could. Yeah, they'd have to just update rather than re-release, wouldn't yeah, they? Yeah, yeah, more sense. So. Yeah. Any, any it, other? It, 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 sorry. Mm. Um, it depends because, like you say, whether it's bringing it forward to stop uh, to cut development time. Mm. They, bas- they basically don't. The ga- games are ready to go. You see, oh, yeah. it's just moving like, players pro, pro, around. Pro Evo demo. Yeah. FIFA, FIFA's beta for Ultimate Team. They yeah. basically finished games already. It's just making sure all their databases are up to date. That's right. Yeah, the team moves and, and that. Faces yeah. are looking right. <laughs> Kits, yeah. I bet they hate it. Oh no, he's grown a yeah, beard. Yeah. He's grown a beard. Get a patch out. <laughs> I'm oh, looking forward to them anyway. Um, so any more real world news? What was this? Um, Berahino again. <laughs> he's a, he had a little strop, didn't he? Because he didn't get his move through. Yeah, he's, he's, a, he's a silly boy. <laughs> he really is. Who did he play for before West Brom? Fonty Youth Academy from West Brom. Was he? Was he? I thought he, uh, maybe he was. Yeah, because there, there was a, an, I mean, some, one of you guys put, put a link to the article in, in the, in here, and it, it apparently scored something like four goals last January, and yeah. was, was all grumpy because he couldn't get a transfer back then, and he's now doing the same. Is that right, Aaron? He's, kind of... yeah, that's it, yeah, yeah, so now he's just having a, a grump and, um, getting, I think, didn't the chairman say that not, not willing to pl- pay him and all this that, and the other, and it's just, it's just, it just kind of, um, just solidifies how these players have got too much control at the moment, haven't they? Yeah, man. it's a shame. Isn't it? it is. Uh, it's, it's a big mess. It went out on uh, Twitter on That's uh, it. deadline day and said, basically, I'm not willing to play under this chairman anymore. <laughs> yeah, <Wow. laughs> that one it threw a dummy out, and that's it done. <laughs> oh, it's just made a big mess of it. <laughs> I, I don't know what happens to him now. He just sits and. Wallers for six months. I don't know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, cool. Okay. Um, so uh, just just finally, I was just sort of uh, seeing here. There was a there was an amazing. Did you guys see the table tennis rally that was on uh, popped on the internet in the week? It was um a ninety one shot um rally in a table tennis match. Uh, wow. Uh, which was incredible. It kind of got me thinking back to the old. Um, did you guys ever? Have um, what was that? Was it just called table tennis on the Xbox 360? Have you guys ever played that? Yeah, when it, the uh, rock star, when it yeah, tight, yeah. I think. that's right. Yeah, the rock star game. Did you ever play that? Yeah, yeah, it's a cracking game, wasn't it? It was, it was, it was brilliant. I really liked it. I, I remember that was the first ever, I was uh, first ever online game I played on the Xbox 360. I think it was, I picked up the game, I was just, I was amazed. It was about <laughs> 12 quid or something on, on launch time, you know, around the launch time. Yeah, yeah. But really cheap, but uh, yeah, I was completely freaked out. But wow, I'm playing online. <laughs> have you ever been, have you, it, I've still, I still own it. I um, should put it back in, I bet it's horrendous. But uh, <laughs> there we go. By the way, let's let's move on. Let's talk about uh, sports games then. So, um, so we got what's out? So we've got a, a new game coming out next week. We have got Forza Six, haven't we? Um, brilliant, brilliant. So, I mean, we can bring in this uh, uh, kind of what we've been playing merge with with this moment. So, did you guys um, get the demo for the the Xbox One? No, no, I will get it downloaded though for for next week. But it's uh, from Should what be. I've heard, the re- reports are brilliant though, aren't they? With uh, yeah, I've played it. Yeah, you've, you've got it, have you? Right. Yeah, I've, I've played the demo. Yeah, yeah, for for a couple of hours. What about you, Kev? Did you get the demo uh, at all? I've not. I've not got Xbox a minute. So ah, oh, apologies, mate. I yeah, right, I, okay. didn't, I didn't get to play. <laughs> oh, bless. <laughs> yeah. So you have to go back to Project Cars or or, or, or the Jolly Good Drive Club, which go back uh, to Drive Club. Yeah, yeah. I gave that a bit of a break. I th- I'm I'm not liking that game at all. So, you know. I found out recently my uh, my school friend actually worked on that game. <laughs> no way. Yeah. yeah. I only just found out uh, like a w- week or two ago. <laughs> That's fantastic. Right. Okay. You ought to tap him up. See if a, l- a little bit topical. <laughs> yeah. Maybe get him on. <laughs> we'll have a chat with him. Um, so yeah. What, so f- 
Yeah, it's out next week. Yeah, go on. Sorry, Aaron. What, what, what was your uh, feeling of it then? Because you've just started playing Forza Horizon, haven't you? I have, yeah. Now, I found it a little bit... Um, obviously, Horizon's like an amazingly slick, responsive arcade game, and Forza 6, the demo, was is going back to sort of the more realistic-feeling... Drive club type, isn't it? Yeah, because it's um, it's uh, track racing, of course. Yeah. So it's it's very, you know, there's not really. You just got to learn three laps, and to be honest with you, um, the le- the early parts of the game are a bit easy. Uh, there is a, a very awkward. Um, they've added the, almost like a FIFA esque, um, card. Oh. Unpacking. Oh. Game, you know. Oh, I heard think? about this. Yeah. Yeah. So, so basically, what what it you you do a couple of races, and it pops up with a with a um. Like a oh, congratulations! You've you've earned a pack. You open the pack. There's three cards in it, and they say these are called mods. You can apply them to races, race tracks, and cars. There's hundreds of different mods you can add to lots of different events. And as you race, you can earn more credit that allows you to buy more packs to get better power-ups in yeah it's just the same old thing so i was a little bit disappointed in that um i'm looking to, forward to seeing what the full game does with it but i thought oh no uh, i couldn't make my mind up whether it was good or bad do you know what i mean it it's it, it's interesting that they're trying to innovate with it but they kind of haven't really given it a lot of thought they've just gone okay madden nhl yeah fifa has pack opening yeah. an ultimate team so we can't do that in a racing game, but let's do the pack opening anyway. <laughs> no. So how, how do uh, mods mm. fit in with like the real life feel? Does it does it change? Does it change it a lot? Or? Yeah, I think there were, you can apply things like ten um, percent extra braking and you know twenty five percent extra acceleration from start and stuff like that. And you can also get um, you can get to the front of the grid on one of them. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Because right. you always start at the back, don't you? When you're yeah. a single player, which is yeah. a bit odd. You know, like um, I think Project Cars had a really good qualifying. You know, I think you did a bit of practice to learn the lap, then you, then you did some qualifying, and then was it for was it Project Cars or was it? I think it might be Formula One actually did that, which is pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Formula One. Yeah, yeah. The F1 game recently did that, and you know it. it it doesn't do that. You just straight into another race, unless the full game will. Obviously, the demo is. It, it looks great. Don't get me wrong. It looks great, and I I didn't better get than to... Drive Club. Um, um, about the same. Really? really? Yeah, I think uh, it does. It does look fun. To, I mean, the driving games look are only as good as the back of the arse end of the car. Which um, I, I play with the chase cam. You know, the, yeah. the furthest one away chasing the car. Do you play any other cams? You two? Not at all, no. I think every game I've ever played on the racing is always defaults back to that chase cam. Yeah, I'm, I'm saying I can't, I can't drive any other way. I've tried cockpit and, and I've done that. I've, I honestly have no idea how Toss does it on Bonnet. So yeah. like, that is just unreal. <laughs> no, it's like it. <laughs> I've tried it a few times and uh, you just can't see. I, I need to see the side of the car. Yeah, I need to know if I'm going to hit the wall or hit, especially in like um, you know, Forza Horizon. There's all dustbins and you know, <laughs> yeah. garden furniture all over the place. You know, I've got no idea. Which is good though, because you got the idea. I think you guys, you no, I don't think you played Forza Horizon. Did you play any of the previous ones? Is the idea is to smash stuff or is it to avoid it? I can't quite work it out. <laughs> the game that I've been playing, so. I think it's supposed to avoid it. I think it's just to have, a, have like a living world around it, isn't it? It's uh, kind of like M- uh, like kind of like a, an MMO type feel for racing. Yeah, kind of like what um, Test Drive t- uh, tried to do on last consoles. Mm, mm. Test Drive, well, Test Drive Unlimited. I, uh, yes, I actually quite enjoyed that. I just had I couldn't find the people to play with. It was uh, a bit empty. The Ubisoft, <laughs> the Ubisoft one. Yes. Uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah. 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 That, that, that seems to have died a death, hasn't it? Yeah, the, the, I, I've not heard nothing about a test drive for the for, uh, PS4 or Xbox One at all, to be honest. Yeah, it's just probably it's too it's a too difficult market to jump into. I think and invest yeah. time and will they get any payback from you know investing all that money? I don't. I just probably better off putting it elsewhere. So if it's Ubisoft, it's probably going into Assassin's Creed. But anyway, um, is, mm. have you, is there any um, driving games you'd like to bring to see brought back? Oh, yeah, because for me it's project. Is it Project Gotham Racing? That was yeah. 
that was, that. That was, that was fantastic really? when uh, Xbox first came out. That yeah, was, that's it, yeah. That was a game to have, wasn't it? <laughs> it was. Yeah, with the bikes, I think, they, they, that you could get on the old motorbikes, couldn't you, this, as well, and that, that was amazing, wasn't it? That was really good. Um, of I, course, I've got Mad Max, which is, uh, you know, talking about driving. Oh, yeah, yeah. It was, I think, predominantly a driving game. I haven't played it yet. I must get on it. But, um, <laughs> yeah, that, that looks a pretty good uh, driving sim. A bit of I'd fun. like to see um, Destruction Derby come back that were on PS1. Oh, that that was was, I, I, I love yeah. that game. I've even, bought, I've even bought it again to uh, play on Vita. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's terrible, but... <laughs> <laughs> Have you actually played it yet? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah they're, it's, uh, they're just little, basically shoeboxes, right? They are, <laughs> aren't they? Around. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've played, I've played one of the, one of those uh, recently. I think it was Destruction Derby two, on, yeah. on an emulator, and it's fine. I'd love, it, I'd love it to come back to do, yeah. a, to do a proper version now with with graphics and proper uh, like crumple zones and yeah, destruction on cars. It'll look awesome. Oh, absolutely, yeah, yeah. And, which a lot of sports, you know, a lot of sorry, racing games. They don't like the old destruction, do they? It's a bit of it's uh, you know they're quite proud of their um, the way the car is built and designed and made out. They yeah. don't want you to smash the thing up, but <laughs> do they? So uh, I I always think Gran Turismo when I'm talking about this uh, this example because that that game is classic for not allowing you to. Yeah, they used to use ex-user um, licenses that the car dealers wouldn't let them smash. Them yeah, <laughs> crazy. Basically, and that's what that's about what they stuck to forever, basically. Yeah, yeah. I suppose you know talking. I mean, that's the most one of the most realistic things that you can have in a racing game, isn't it? Is it's just it's sort of damage and destruction. And of course, you know we have football games. Is there anything missing? I mean, like, like in realism from like Pez and FIFA. Do you do you feel there's anything uh, uh, missing from the game? And what I'm going to mention here, I I I know this sounds awkward and awful, but in NHL they fight, don't they? Yeah. yeah. And in FIFA and Pez. They don't. You get a little bit of cut scenes, yeah. pushing and shoving. But I really would love them to innovate. You to, you know, when the ball goes out for a corner, and you can take over the player in the middle, can't you? So you're not actually taking the corner. You can control yeah, yeah. and running around in the box. I'd love for you to be able, to, when the ball goes out of play, to be able to kind of wind up a player or start nudging him, and you know, and really kind of do the old. Um, the old Balotelli on him and that. Yeah, <laughs> really yeah. Get the elbow in. I mean, is there anything else in, in like from a realism aspect? I think, and I don't know how it would actually work from a tech point of view, but when they first announced the eleven on eleven, uh, yeah. when you you know when you be a pro mode and all that, I think for me it's the um, trying to get the, the camera right. So maybe maybe it's going to be VR, maybe it's your Oculus and your uh, Morpheus yeah. that's, that's the key, but there's got to be a way that you can actually. F- get that camera just right so you actually mm. feel like you're playing a game of football I think that would be the, the ultimate for me mm. yeah, yeah um, with, with VR what about um, like having uh, like having it where it, where it tells you it uh, gives you uh, yeah, an instruction I'll find word eventually <laughs> <laughs> it's an instruction to put your yeah, head on when a game starts and it's like it's basically like you stood on touchline for a football yeah. manager oh yeah Awesome. Yeah. You basically yeah. watch watch it play out in front of you. Watch or in in real time. You can make it. You can make it go that slow in uh, football manager, can't you? Wow. You can take that VR to the next level. Can you? They could input a story mode, so you actually take. Yeah, yeah. You know, you off the pitch, you play the role of the, you know, of the of the Raheem Sterling you know, kind of player. <laughs> where you, you, you're shagging everything left, right, and centre. Did you see that tweet? It was it a tweet from um I saw today. It had Raheem Sterling and who's the Delph. Fabian Delph, yeah. um, were fly- they're flying? The England players are flying over to um, the Faroes to play a game tomorrow night, and uh, so it had it had Fabian Delph taking a, uh, like a selfie of himself and Sterling, and somebody had quite retaken and put snakes on a plane. <laughs> <'Cause of> course, <laughs> both of those are big of it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I thought that was quite amusing. Anyway, getting back to fours or six out next week. Excellent. On the Xbox One only, Excellent. though. That's the big deal here. So, Kev, I'm afraid you... Enjoy yourself, guys. <laughs> you're blacked out on this one. <laughs> so we can get you one, you know. <laughs> it's, uh, you know, but um, I'm, you know, looking forward to it. Is it something that you're going to look at, Aaron? Is it anything that interests you? Yeah, to... without a doubt. I yeah. mean, Forza, 
which I, well, I think it was Forza 2 was the last one I properly invested in. Right. I had such a good time on that. It was just just creating your car from scratch and just putting all the little paintwork on mm. and smashing it in the first corner. But, you know, you, <laughs> it was the, I just I just found the game was fantastic. So, yeah, yeah I'm definitely going to... Have you seen Horizon 2 that I've been bleating about recently? Have you... No, I played, I played the original um, and I, I thought it was okay. Uh, but I never got to put enough time into it really yeah but, you're more into the series I think you probably grab yourself a copy for about 10-15 quid now yeah, if you definitely. see it yeah, yeah. especially on the old gum tree you know I like a bit yeah. of that <laughs> so, anyway so moving on so that's out next week Um, out this week is one of the biggest events this year it's the Rugby World Cup 2015 and I don't know who it's by <laughs> so Kev um, you put in your notes a little bit lower that you yeah. Might have had it. You're thinking about getting it. You're a bit of a rugby boy, aren't you? Being from from yeah, yeah. Oop, oop, oop North. <laughs> I, I thought, I, well, like if I like putting notes for what I played, I was hoping I was going to pick this up today. And mm. for some reason, something stopped me and made me look around a little bit. And good, good choice by the sound I'm, of it. Yeah. I'm of a moon that I didn't buy it because. Uh, it's by the same people that I basically told you about last week who made Rugby 15. Yes. And from from like IGN's review. It's basically exactly the same. All the same problems are there with a fair bit more. <laughs> There's oh, still wrong with it. And uh, I don't know. I, I, I'm a bit weird about this one. Now, now I know it's by them. Yeah. Um, it kind of feels like this should be DLC because... Um, it's just a reskin, is it? Of yeah. Well, well, yeah, basically. I'm, I, well, I didn't get around to it last week because we were basically just saying it was bad. But um, it's basically everything's licensed in it. Except for international teams. What? So, oh, what in the old in, game? In, yeah, in rugby yes. fifteen, you basically got um, right down to sevens teams and everything. Yeah, and um, all all internationals have no licensing whatsoever. But it's not like Pro Evo's non license where they change a couple of letters in a name. Yeah, they actually change the full name. So it's not even recognisable as an England team or whatever. Oh no, it's, it's, they it's, don't look like them. They're different. No, different colour skins, everything. Everything is just oh. completely different to what the players should be. Mm. And they've basically just from what I've from what I've seen that like, review and everything, they've just brought the international license to a different game and it's basically just that one mode. It's it's just play through World Cup. Nice. But we all same problems that we had with, with uh, rugby fifteen. It's pointless. It's pointless, yeah, and it's full price, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, that's the main reason why I, I think I stopped to have a look around, especially with Pro Evo and FIFA coming together so soon. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And I've got stag do next weekend to go to. Priorities. So. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Definitely. So I thought, well, I'll have a look first, because it's, it's like £46 pound to, uh, to buy now. It's pretty steep, yeah. Which, fair enough, yeah, rugby games can be expensive, and they, they all they value a lot better than most games. Mm. Just because I don't, I, I, well... I normally say that because they're a bit better, but it's not. It's because we don't get many of them. Mm, no, we don't get many of them at all. So. Yeah, so it's something that wouldn't pass. I, I, I'd seen that Rugby 15 game uh, for a while, actually. I mean, because yeah. um, I, I get a lot of uh, freebies from my hotel stays, and that was that's on there. Oh yeah, <laughs> in a big sports fan. And I'm still not tempted, even though, even though technically I wouldn't be paying for it. So, you know, yeah, it's, it's a free day. I'd be don't interested to see what um, Rugby League Live have been like bringing, bringing it on uh, with, like, with their last couple of games. I'd be interested to see what they do later this month because Rugby League seems to work better for uh, from a gaming standpoint. Mm-hmm. It, it seems yeah. to translate better with controls rather than everything that goes off in Union. There's just far too much. <laughs> Does EA do a rugby game? Well, they, they used to, to. they used to, yeah, and they they, they dropped out a bit a while ago. Yeah, because I mean, fe- effectively, it's just the FIFA engine, isn't it? With a, with a with, a, with an egg yeah, instead yeah. of a, instead of a yeah. round ball. <laughs> Basically, yeah. it's just it's just changing a few controls around. I, yeah. I, know, I would have thought, but yeah, it, it must be harder than what anybody, well, than what any of us get credit for, really, yeah. because there's not many, there's not many try it. A few are trying. A few are trying it. Like the guys that are making Rugby League Live, I believe, met, uh, have brought out um, Rugby League Manager, which is mm. basically the same thing as Football Manager. But it, they've got all full licensed teams on that as well. I'm just trying to yeah. pick that pick that up at a reasonable price in case that's a little bit 
cool. Because <laughs> right, there's, there's basically no reviews or anything about out there about that at all, which is really? what I, I find strange. Yeah, yeah. Oh, but it's, yeah. it's it's rugby. It's, it's a little it's a little bit niche. It's not. Yeah. It's not one of the things that's played very often. It's like it doesn't sell millions. No, never, never going to sell millions, really. No, nah, it's not. Is it? And it's only going to sell for. When does when is the, when does the Rugby World Cup kick off? Then is it this month? Because they're all in the final friendlies, aren't they? Though? Yeah, yeah, they have their last friendlies this this week. So is it September or October? The oh, it's uh, end of, end of September, I believe. Yeah, yeah oh, that's right. Right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You're going, aren't you, Aaron? Too. Yeah, is it Villa yeah. Park you're heading, or no? Where do you say you um, were going? Up north to Newcastle, and then we've got Olympic Stadium. Oh, so, right, yes. Yeah, That's yeah. fantastic. Okay. Good stuff. So you're, you're a bit put off, and I don't blame you, Kev. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's one of them now. I'll, I'll not touch. The, yeah. The, 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 these guys that make it, I, can't, I forget the, I forget the um, devs' names, but um, yeah. they've got to do something special now to turn it around. The, do this, either of you... To win a row. <laughs> yeah, do either of you have any subscription with uh, with Boomerang? You know, the, the website that nicks your uh, money. No, it doesn't nick your money. It, <laughs> sorry, it's the website that delivers uh, the rental side of things. Would you... No, we, I was put off it, off it, to be honest, from what happened on Crankies, so I mm. never touched it at all. But you, Kev, you... I, I, I thought about it, uh, listening to Steve talk about it. But it then, is a good service, I will admit. But I, I was I, thinking, like, with this month... Um, we all knew stuff coming out. I think that might be not a bad it idea. It was. idea. Especially but, with like Pez and Fee for a week apart yeah. and get one and rent the other, which is, would make but, sense. But is it is it a random thing? It, no. It's the way, way Steve made it, <sighs> way, way it come across on Sunday. Well, it was like a random thing. What they You basically had a wish list. Yeah, you do. And, but and you then keep... they send you whatever they, but whatever they feel like. If you if you do what like him and I do, or I, at least I used to do, keep one game in your wish list... Right, and it's the one that's due to come out, and make sure you've got nothing at home. So you may have a few days or a week without actually anything from them. Right. But usually they get you get something on as long as you add it to your little basket, like eight months. You know, as soon as it gets announced that it's coming out, go yeah, on, add, add it straight away. Or the boomerang, add it, add it as a game that you want, and then and then clear your wish list uh, for the point that it's due out. Um, but so, you know, it worked very well. But for me personally, on the road, it just uh, games would sit sit on my desk for two or three weeks. Yeah, and then I then send course. it back, and I wouldn't even play yeah. it. So I think yeah. last year I rented um, FIFA on on the PS4, and then proceeded to just go on the road for like a month. So I had, <laughs> so I had it on the PC. So I took the old Alien with me, and uh, and like I say, that was the point where I kind of made a decision. So I think when did we when did we all get hacked? Was that sort of late last year or early this year? I cannot remember, but it doesn't matter. We we've all moved on now. <laughs> From those uh, those days. Um, okay. Um, so we got um. So we, what else have we got then? So we got the the something. One of you guys wants to talk about uh, foot and my club. So FIFA Ultimate Team. So um, let's uh, let, let's uh, leave that. I think uh, till Aaron when you talk about what you've been yeah, playing because yeah. that kind of links in and uh, those two points. So I'll just get out of the way what I've been playing because it's very very small this week because I, I I've been doing a lot of work and um, and playing with a lot of tech. I've been playing with more stuff than I've been actually playing games. So I had a tiny go at Football Manager 15, and it was merely just to um, uh, you guys. Football manager, fans? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, excellent, yeah. right? Love it. <laughs> good, 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 good. You wouldn't be here if you weren't. Exactly. So, uh, no, I've been, I mod mine quite a lot, and yeah. I don't know, I don't know if you two do do yours. I know there's good, good websites like FM Scout, FM Base, where yeah, you yeah. get all the downloads and the graphic files and stuff like that. To the point that my, in my documents folder, that supports the game, not the actual install, but the, I think the install is like three gig. Yeah. Yeah. And my modding folder is 14 gig. So <laughs> it's... Do you see uh, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, adding all face packs and stuff like that. Absolutely. So what I've been doing... look official. <laughs> yeah, what I, when I found out that the next game isn't due out to November, I was kind of like, oh, okay, well, I wanted to get back into it. So I've just been spending more time updating the bloody thing, just so we've got more <laughs> regular kits. Play, there's yeah. a... I think there's a there's a, there's a transfer... One yeah, just come out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, the day the DB update. You know, moving things like Hull to the Championship and you know Norwich up to the Premier League, and stuff like that. So it's all been moved around. So it's really cool. And I'm just going to get back and I'm going to try and drop down a few leagues. Now I am notorious uh, for doing very badly in football manager games. I am. 
I don't know what what's the problem with me. I love playing it. I absolutely love it, but I am piss poor. Absolutely <laughs> terrible at the game. You go on YouTube and you watch these. You watch them are taking like you know, haven't and War Louisville to the Champions League, you know, and yeah. stuff like that. Yeah. And I can't even get. I can't even win the bloody Premier League with like Chelsea. So that's how bad I am. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I, I'm a poor tactician, I think, in that game, but I love it. So yeah. I think I've dro- what I've decided to do. I've dropped. I was. I've been playing a playing a career with Southampton on and off, and I went for the Wonder Kids, and I just tried to, which was a big mistake. Take a Premier League and do the Wonder Kids. So now I'm dropping down to to Wickham, which is my as we spoke last week, which is my my second team, and I'm going to try and do by the same signings. And get the Wonder Kids with them, and try and take them up through the league. Can you hear my missus? She's cackling in the other room. You probably can't. <laughs> Don't know what she's up to. Anyway, so uh, so what have I done this week? So literally, I just did a bit of a tech uh, with Football Manager just to test uh, some webcam and the microphone, and I just modded it. <laughs> I didn't even play. It. I didn't even. I did nice. not even press continue. I went through the transfer markets. I went to the tactic screens. I've set the game up ready to go. So hopefully. I'm going to push on a bit with that. Is it is it technically the classic mode? So no, okay. I play the full. Ah, Monty. Okay. Yeah, I know I you can play I classic play mode. Well, <laughs> it's just that when you do classic mode, it doesn't it somehow um, link with the cloud now to the iPad? Is that, is that working well? Really? I yeah, don't know, I don't know whether it links with. I, I don't think know, they're I don't talking about. Together, is that yeah, next one? it's the next one. They're going to do that. Yeah, I, I really wish they would because I've done about I'm a season and a half. Through uh, my Wickham career on that, I can just push that in and carry on. That, that it'd be idea, wouldn't it? That's a that's a great idea. Yeah, hopefully they'll bring that in. And and the, you can't mod the iPad version, unfortunately. No, that's the problem. Isn't it's it? a bit locked. Um, yeah, which is a shame. But uh, there we go. Um, so I played some Pez as well. Pez fifteen. Um, I did so two things. I was I was playing on that. So um, I've been uh. Tinkering with my club, which is okay. the challenger to FIFA Ultimate Team, yeah. um, and I've been doing some of the online uh, tournaments on it, which has been a bit of fun. And but I don't like playing online against real people. They they have weirdly right when you you know when you play FIFA Ultimate Team, and I can see that you've just started tinkering with that. Probably this is more for you, Kev, when you've been playing it in the past. <laughs> you play a single FIFA Ultimate Team match, and it's offline, yeah. isn't it, against the computer? Well. For some reason, even though it's against the computer, Pez has to connect online, and it does a search. It goes searching for opponent, even though it's the bloody computer. It's really, really odd. That makes no sense. (laughs) Exactly, and it feels like it's... And sometimes it struggles because it hasn't got an internet. You know, the internet drops a tiny bit. Hang on, I'm offline here. What are you doing? So anyway, I did did do an offline uh, league. I did a Champions League run with uh, with Man U. (laughs) But of course, it's all it's all rubbish because it's you know you've got Van Persie up front, you know yeah, it just yeah. we find this with football games, don't we? When it's when season dated. moves on, yeah, yeah, it gets dated and you kind of you you, you lose that realism effect. Yeah, yeah. So it's good. But I made it to the what did I make? I made it to the quarterfinals, but I, I was I I in the league, in the group league I lost all my home games. Like they were horrendous high scores. It was like basketball. It was like three two four three, and then I'd win on the road. So and then I think I drew one at home. So it's, I made it through the the groups. Played uh, I can't remember who I played. Uh, some Swedish team in the second round, and then I got knocked out by Juve, and then I just kind of quit because it, it just I put so much into it. I don't know about you, but I I do not cheat. No, no. No, no, what no. I mean by that is, yes, I save after every game, but if I lose, I lose. Yeah, yeah. You don't, you don't restart it. Yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. So, and, and as a consequence, I very rarely get the trophies and achievements each year from from these <laughs> games because I'm not a hunter. I don't care. Uh, you know, it's not a big thing for me. But um, did you ever play the Master League this time around? What did you think? I yeah, I did. I played it on the PC version last last year, and yeah. I didn't. I like it. It's no. too, it's too vague. I don't. I didn't like the interface. That for sure. The and transfers are weird as well, aren't they? They're just, oh, they're, yeah, they're, yeah. They're rubbish. It, it just didn't really have the. One of the. I think it was Pro Evo Six. 
maybe five, maybe four, I can't remember. In fact, it might have been before they were on the PS2. It might have been even... What do they call it on the, on, on the, on the PlayStation 2? What was uh, Pro Evo called back then? It was Win it, 11. Was it Winning 11? Yeah. Yeah, it was, wasn't it? Yeah. And uh, I remember one of the versions had three leaks. You had, like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you had to get... Promoted, didn't you? Yeah, brilliant. Yeah, I, have, yeah, I, have, yeah. I have some questions about this from uh, just bits that I've been playing. If you want to bring them in here, mm. um, is is Master League still? Is it still got like its own well, sort of fake currency sort of thing, rather than yeah. actually using million pounds and whatever? Um, oh no, it's back to money now, isn't it? Yeah, it's money. Yeah, I don't know, like I say, I've played it since uh, yeah. uh, PS2 days. Me, so uh, yeah. that's why I a few questions before this year. Yeah, they don't mean anything though. It's just a I think Konami's just made their own sort of exchange rate up or something because All right. they have no no <laughs> no bearing on what they were. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, if you, if you do go through uh, Master League, um, does it is it working the same way? Well, like I said, with, with leagues and stuff like that. Like mm. like you were just saying, is it? Has it, it have you still got a, a decent progression to build to build the side like you used to? Have yeah, it? yeah. yeah. You do. Uh, the thing is with Master League, I think there are there are um, two really worthwhile leagues playing. I think the 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 Premier League has a has a feed. You, you basically right. This is why this is what sucks about the Master League in Pro Evo. You play a top division, okay, and then you choose which you, which is your feeder division, i.e. the Championship. Okay, so to when you play as a Premier League, you yeah. can have the Championship. But if you play as the Spanish league, I don't think they got the Spanish B, have they? No, no. So you have to choose a second league, which could be a which could be a mix of clubs. So if you play in that Spanish league for one season, it's great, and then season two you get club, clubs from like Argentina yeah. and you know Portugal popping up. It just takes it completely off track, and that's All right. no good. But it does work when you play as the as the uh, English leagues, so yeah. you do get the two the two feeder leagues. But it's no all, there's no license, so it's yeah. North London and yeah, West, yeah. West Midland Village and all that rubbish, you know. And which we spoke about last week is going to get patched yeah. out of the PS4 version. So. I don't, yeah, I don't, I don't know if any of you got this far. Then um, after you've built your master league team, can mm. you uh, challenge friends online with 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 the, with the team you built at end? You certainly could in the last one. I don't know if I don't know if I've even tried it on this one. Yeah, I don't. I haven't. I know. You, uh, yeah, I'm, I don't think I've ever really bothered getting it, getting that far, Kev. I, yeah. I know what? you definitely can in FIFA. The pro- the problem with the Pez one in the last one though was um, when you challenge your friends, all the stats got reset to what the online stats were. So you had all the players in the right places, but then you had just the. So if you took a wonder kid in, yes, yeah, yeah. It, Pimped him out, then he got he was nerfed as soon as he went off online. So right, yeah, right. wasn't <laughs> ideal. That was, that's that's main reason why why I, I like playing Master League because we used to um, like bring, uh, buy all the kids. Yeah, import saves though from uh, memory cards so we could challenge yeah. each other's Master League. But that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, it's just I don't know if it works. <laughs> Whether it'll work properly we online. That's all. Mm. That's where we'll wait and see. I know there's, they're releasing loads of uh, details. I know they've released a trailer for the My Club, which which I didn't really have much info to tell me. It just it just kept saying we've innovated, we've we've listened to fans' feedback, and we've got great new features. And well, what the bloody hell are they? And never actually told me what they were. You know, and, you know, we, and, and you'll see them when it's released. Exactly. <laughs> so it didn't really. I wasn't that impressed. But I have seen the interface of um, Master League, and it does look nice. It looks oh, a good. lot nicer this year. Good. Good. So, um, are you tempted then to actually play the uh, Michael this year? Mm. No. Th- because if you get that, um, we said about last week, didn't we? if we get the uh, yeah, anniversary Neymar, edition, it, which seems weird, doesn't it? It's <laughs> just uh, yeah. their best player because he's the guy on the front of the. Exactly. Uh, yeah. yeah. And when it when it comes to playing Master League, what, what what do you guys prefer to do? Do you prefer to take a, a real club with real players, or you can take a real club with and it, and these players have been there since. Yeah. Gosh. That's what I always do. What are their names? You know, 
there's, there's there's a batch of standard names like yeah. Verano and Cassie, Cassa, Castal, yeah. Castilio or something like that. Yeah. Yes, uh, they're all still yeah, excellent. Yeah, with us, that's, how with that. that's how I used to start. It was a fresh, yeah. fresh club. That's it. Now, Brilliant, isn't it? But all unknown players and then transfer them in as you need them. Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever changed any edited? To like be your mates. Yes. Yeah. We, we we used to do it for our five a side club and eleven a side club and everything and <laughs> try and recreate the whole team and then go from yeah. there. It, was, it yeah, is good. It good. Yeah, it is good. Yeah, I know because I, I remember a friend of mine did it and he would always come. He'd keep telling me that I was his top scorer. Or something. <laughs> I think it was in. Um, <laughs> I think it was. Uh, I think it was football manager. He managed to edit, but. Crazy stuff. And of course, nowadays you put your friends' names in there. There's a uh, like fallout. Shelter, I think you can change the names to be yeah. people you know, and XCOM, that game you can have real life. Oh, you, you're my sergeant and I got you killed, sorry. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> let's go back to sports games. So anyway, that's me done. Aaron, what about yourself, mate? Give us a few games. Yeah, there. so mainly it's been playing around with um, EA Access, so we've got Good. NHL, um, Madden 15, NHL 15, they were both Really, really enjoyed them actually. The first time I've played them this year. Um, for some reason, I missed them completely in this uh, in this generation. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but they they were both fantastic. But uh, I really, really enjoyed um, NHL. I think I'm big hockey fan. Yeah, yeah. It was good. Yeah. Uh, I think I think I'm going to get 16 um, mm-hmm. and actually properly play the career because I've never really played the career on any of these. It's, so. it's long though. That's I've the heard it is. Yeah, it's like an 80 game. Um, standard season before the playoffs, you know. Oh, really? Yeah, really? yeah. And a game, a game will take you ten minutes if you play yeah. it properly because it's three, three. I was gonna say it's three quarters. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so yeah it's three like, periods. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, So, but yeah, it, it just takes too long. But um, do, do, what did you play on it? Do you, did you uh, do you play? You don't play the single player, the the pro. No, no, all of these were couch co-op or couch. Um, you know. Yeah. Uh, against a mate and uh yeah we both not played these versions before so we're both kind of into it and yeah yeah, that's good i mean you can't beat it can you a good sports game when you're someone sat next to you and exactly (laughs) screaming out blue blue murder and everything else but uh, (laughs) that's just me that's just what i was losing so yeah (laughs) how did did you get on with uh with madden because it's not very i will that game's not the easiest one to pick up and play uh, no, but I feel like it. Um, it's it's very similar to the years before. So, the second I I got there, I just was a, seemed to be throwing the ball around quite nicely and a few touchdowns and everything. It, it just, I I think it was just same as all the others. I don't think they really innovated on Madden uh, as much as they no. had with NHL. They might have done, but we're not. I don't know about you. We're, yeah, we're not expert true. eyes. Exactly. Like, yeah, yeah. I suppose that they probably say the same about FIFA, don't they? But oh yeah, yeah. It's probably you know. Yeah, we'll be going through FIFA and Peds with a fine tooth. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Whereas there'll be there'll be people who love the American sports. Uh, the same is just the same. Yeah, yeah, Madden. I mean, I can go through NHL with, you know, I, I know that sport pretty pretty well. It's because it's easy, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It it the it the uh, disc into the goal, and it's a bit like yeah. football, isn't it? And I think I think it's a fun game just to pick up and play. Just you know, yeah. if you've got fifteen minutes or so, just get. Just get the game in it. It just works really well. Um, I've never played it online though. I don't know if that's if it's going to be as uh, <laughs> well, online. But maybe we could have a game online because I I have that also for EA Access. Excellent. Yeah. yeah so yeah, okay. um, I think we would be better playing each other. But yes. You know, it's tempting to play all the eight year olds now. I've been playing yeah. it all year. Yeah. So um, Pez demo more. I've just been playing. Yep. Nonstop. Absolutely loving it. Um, it's just one of the soon as someone because just having the new house, we've got a lot of people coming around to see it. And the first thing I always tell them is, uh, "Let's have a quick game on pairs." <laughs> it's brilliant. It's absolutely brilliant. It it kind of reminds me as well of some of the uh, moments in there where they've because it, it's never been as polished as FIFA, has it? No, no. So I scored a cracking goal with um, Benzema. And then he ran along and you get to choose your celebration and he started uh, kissing his night badge. So I don't know why he's so happy about his Nike. night badge. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, that, yes. Was that, a, uh, was that a, like a, well, a glitch sort of thing in uh, this year's as well? Oh, was it? <laughs> I think I think so. But, um, I can't remember where I read it now. Say so, Somebody mentioned that, that um, 
he's basically still kissing his night badge, which <laughs> is a, a little bit odd. <laughs> he, he really likes his night, I'm telling you. He was, he, uh, he's, he's enjoying all money. <laughs> it's a challenge brand, for you. Brand, brand awareness. <laughs> Have you scored with um, Totty yet? No, no, why? Why? Okay, yeah, do you want me to tell you why? Go on then, yeah. Because uh, his celebrations very unique. I've never seen it in any football game before. He scores a goal. He runs over to the crowd. He grabs one, uh, an i what looks like an iPhone <gasps> off of one of the crowd and takes wow. a selfie. Awesome, awesome. <laughs> You've oh. got to do it just to see that. It's a really, yes. it, it's a really. He scored against me and uh, did that. He <laughs> did it <laughs> just to rub it in. Yeah. Irritated to watch when <laughs> when you just conceded. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, it's worth it's worth it to see it. I mean, it's going to get very boring after you know if you t- if you decide to take Roma, yeah, in a yeah. career mode or master league, you know you, you're going to see that a lot. <laughs> just say yes, how, how many people do we owe phones to <laughs> <laughs> I think he gives them back though Kev <laughs> good good so yeah I, I've I've had a little dabble with uh, the Pets demo as well this this week um, have you have you got it you've you played it Kev didn't you yeah yeah played, yeah. It, played it on PS4 yeah, yeah, just PS4, yeah. Same. I'm loving it that's why I had my Master League questions because yes. I've, I've not been into Pro Evo for years I haven't really got friends that play or even Contemplating, looking at it, so yeah, not not local, so um, I've not really got anybody. That's why I asked about Master League Online and stuff because if you guys were up for up for building, so we could be get a bit of <laughs> competition going. But yeah, I don't think they do. Um, a sort of you know what would be a fantastic mode is um, it, you know I, they used to, I know you can set up leagues in FIFA, but play a full on Master League online yeah. like a 20 yeah. season thing you know where you know you have two or three days to clear out all your you know three or four games yeah, and, then, yeah. and then it moves yeah. on a month or something like that or you do a month a week or i don't know whatever just to kind of push you forward and you you choose a club and, and away you go and, yeah. and, and and only one of you can have ronaldo and yeah, one, yeah. Of, yeah. one yeah. of you can have messi and that that, that yeah. would be that's what what it needs to do i think really good um, you done then, Aaron? On... Uh, the last thing was yeah. um, I played first time ever the foot, so you know the ah, yes. FIFA Ultimate Team. Yeah. Um, and the the thing that kind of because I've never I, I've always seen it and I've always thought to myself I, I want to give it a go, but I actually had a uh, mate of mine sit down with me and go through you know this is what it is and he's a massive uh, fan of it so we knew it inside out, and it was just a bit where I was able to kind of pretty much buy out the whole of the Derby team <laughs> and bring them in at the very beginning. So, yeah, I've been really enjoying it. And I think, for me, I think 16, I think that's what I'm going to concentrate more than anything. I'm going to give it, I'm going to really sit down and push it this year. Yeah. And really give it a go. Because I think it's, to me, it seems like it's it, it's perfect game for me. Mm. I've just never really given it the time of day. So It is great. Uh, you can absolutely lose months to it. I can imagine, yep. yeah, yeah. That's that's, all, that's more or less all I play on FIFA. <laughs> oh, really? Is that yeah, what yeah. yeah. Uh, foot's foot's main thing that I play for last because we work and stuff. I having lack of time, seasons and that. Uh, I can't really. I ain't got time for career modes on FIFA and stuff. Not with having football manager okay. as well. So uh, yeah, having foot, having having uh, online seasons and stuff is loads better. Uh, I love that. I love that game. I've played it. Played it, played it right, right from the beginning when uh, FIFA first announced it. <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, uh, it's just, a, just a shame we it's transfer market and stuff that people are finding workarounds and stuff. <laughs> well, let, let's hope it doesn't happen. And they've got the new, um, the new draft system as well, haven't they? And that looks brilliant. Yeah, that is that is brilliant. It's it's fantastic, great idea. fantastic yeah. mode. Yeah, yeah. Did you get to play it in the... Oh, I suppose you're not really... Yeah, about yeah, it. yeah. BTA, I may as well now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I play, played it in BTA, yeah. The only, the only thing I'd say that it can screw you over fairly easy. <laughs> really? Like, it can give... Yeah, because... Did, did any of you watch the um, video with Gary Neville and... Uh, yes. Uh, yeah, yeah. 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 Carrier playing it, yeah. Um, well, they... Um, all, it all gives them all goal players, all, all top players and stuff. It don't do that every time. It can give you a full selection of silvers. Or a full selection of bronze players, and that's just really crappy. <laughs> yeah, I can yeah. imagine. Yeah. But also, they uh, well, a little tip they uh, they also uh, auto auto fill their bench and their reserves, 
mm-hmm. I recommend not doing that and uh, actually select because you can still select each player as you do your positions. And more right. and more often than not, your better players come when you've selected them in your reserves or your or your subs. Right. Okay. It's, it's, don't sense. don't auto select it because you could end up with oh, especially if you've managed to pick up having to pick a couple of bronze and silvers in your main team. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. I know you might not be able to say, but are you allowed to mention anything about the actual gameplay on the pitch? I have that... no, I have honestly no idea what we're allowed to say anymore. Okay. <laughs> I've, seen some, I've seen some people post videos of them. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I, I don't know what we're allowed to say anymore. Um, okay. Because de- you know the demo's out on Monday. Yeah. I think it's yeah. the seventh, is it? Yes. Yeah, the day I, I'm flying to bloody Germany on Monday, and I, I'm, <laughs> believe it or not, I'm actually taking the PS4 with I me. Was, I was just going to say that you're taking it with you down the I am indeed. <laughs> <laughs> so, but I don't get there till five in the evening. I've just read online they got standard internet is free, but I bet you got to pay for faster. But so oh. I'll be I'll be getting the old card out as soon as I get in. Thanks for the demo. Thank you very much. Okay, yeah, so I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing like, any graphical changes. I, I know the referees are using the old white line and the, you know, when they do a free kick and stuff like that it looks pretty realistic still, so. <laughs> yeah. It looks good. And, uh, Is defending, it slower? Defending it, seems a little strange. Uh, yeah. Well, I mean, sl- how's it? Slower ish. Because when you move from Pez at minus one and then go to FIFA, FIFA's like, Almost NHL in yeah. speed. It feels <laughs> I've, like never, a... I've never played Peasant Minus One, to be honest. I just play, I've only ever played it on um, Standard. So right, okay. Roughly, I'd, I'd say roughly about the same, you know, maybe a little bit quicker FIFA. Okay, okay. The well. thing that seems to be different this time with FIFA, for a bit mm. that I got to play, is um, like scripted events for the long shots. Okay. It, it, more often than not, goalkeeper will catch them. I never, man- I never managed to score any. Yeah. And any like spectacular long shots, which shouldn't really be going in. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, they they seem to have been narrowed out a little bit, and defending seems a little bit sketchy. And I don't know whether that's just me or getting used getting used to a new yeah. game again. I don't, I don't know. Do you, do you uh, something that's going to come up over the next few weeks? Do you play with the sliders, or do you just leave it on the defaults? I've always I've always just left it on default. Just right. play, play yeah. with it where they intended it, and yeah. right. just go like that. You know, yeah. Well, I I play around with them, and then I realise that every time I go online, mm. it messes it reset, them all up. It resets them. Yeah. Up. So I have to just kind of learn with whatever the default is that okay. you know, they've decided. Yeah, because you know when you log in to FIFA. Yes. Um, it says which profile do you want to use, doesn't it? Yes. You can have yeah. one pro if you can have one profile for when you're preparing to go, you know, play FIFA online. Yeah. You, know, you don't care about sliders, and then when you think, right, I'm just going to do, you know, ultimate team offline or career mode or something like that or a tournament, then you can have a, a second profile which has got all the slider <laughs> settings. Good tip. Yeah. Okay. Possibly. Not uh, that I do it. I never go online. So <laughs> really ultimate that. team, ultimate team offline might still reset it. Anyway oh, I think they do, don't because, they? Yeah. Because it's like ultimate team. That's what I was going to say when you were mentioning Pez. Try like find it. It doesn't try find opponents, but it is yeah. constantly online. If you lose connection, it boots you out of ultimate team altogether. You can't play it. Yeah, and one thing I'd really love to see Ultimate Team is uh, uh, put into this year, I, I, I doubt it, but is to play shorter matches. Because you know in those like season, you know, when you're in Div- Division 10, Division 9, the, the games are, are too easy. I mean, yeah. like Toz, he, he doesn't even play the bloody thing, and he was he played around with the, when he got EA Access on FIFA 15. I said, go and play for Ultimate Team, and he did, and he was like 8-0 up <laughs> at half time. In his yeah, first game, they're, and you they're, get they're, they're not they're not very good teams that are in there yeah. either. So <laughs> it's it's literally. I mean, it's the point where I I remember my son was getting in, you know, just looking at FIFA as a video game, and he was just walking through the defense. It was, you know, literally yeah. that easy, and he, he didn't even know what the buttons were. I mean, dad pad mode he was on. <laughs> okay, let's move on. What else have you been doing, Kev? So uh, obviously rugby didn't get. We talked about yeah, rug- rugby's useless. Uh, yep. Yeah, a bit more, a bit more pro Evo. Um, other than that, it's been more, it's been more about over the, oh, a bit more Rocket League as always. That's just yeah, excellent. Go to excellent. when, go to when I've got time, when I've got a little bit of time. Still haven't bought DLC yet though. <laughs> I reckon <laughs> that that'll be this weekend. I think no, I ain't got rugby. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, more, uh, more, just more Scar Hero. I'm loving that yet. Frustrated all the time when uh, yeah. because I ain't got many of the 
dollars or whatever they are. I forget now. We've got many different like games. Me, oh, it? hearts, I think. Yeah, yeah. No, it is. It's it, no. You're right. It, there are there, there is some monetary. Yeah, they want they want to um, reset it if you to take your pass again or whatever That's or you right, shot again. Yeah. yeah. When not having any of them uh, frustrates me when, especially like when there's uh, three or four goals to be scored and oh, you, you mess one bit up or a defender gets in way and yeah, that's all the way back at the beginning. It's just. I have yeah. to stop myself throwing the phone. <laughs> what, what, what season are you on? You have you progressed any further in season wise? Uh, or? Yeah, um, I, I'll have a quick look. What season it is? I can't remember. Now. You're just um, when we're looking. I'm on season. I've just been, I've just been sold. Yeah, three as, 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 as an upgrade. <laughs> as as to an upgrade, up, up, a better team. But no. It only gave me uh, Spurs or Liverpool and. I didn't want to play for Liverpool, <laughs> so I went, I went to Spurs. I'm in season five now. Season five. Yeah. So you know when you scroll up, because season five's uh, locked me behind yeah. the cloud. You know that you, I can see there's something else there. When you scroll up on yours, what what numbers does it go to? As high? Uh, there's a season six locked and season seven's locked. Right. Okay. Well, I read today, or at least I saw in my update that this had an update. Uh, yeah, eleven and twelve uh, seasons, eleven and twelve. Wow. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, I've I I I just, I've just put that update on. I wonder if uh, I ever get that. Yeah, eleven and twelve released, <laughs> and you can now reset your career if you're not liking how you're doing it. Which yeah, apparently you could do. I, I never tried that. Oh, okay. No, well, I've I've got two different careers going: one on the pad and one on the one on the. Ah, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Stuff. Then after that, uh, more Tikka Taka Soccer. Um, yeah, you love that game. Obsessed though. with that game. I'm <laughs> um, in season six, I believe it is. Uh, I've basically been promoted every year. <laughs> my, my worst season was my first season when I finished second in conference. So I didn't win that. I didn't win that. Get me a little star next to my trophy, <laughs> which is a, still annoying me. Yeah. Uh, but I won. I've basically won league every time I've gone up. I've won Premier League straight away. Um, I'm going for Champions League now. And even though it's really, really easy to be honest, I'm st- I'm just still loving it. It's just it's like it's like Master League starting with yeah un- unknown nice. people and adding 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 real players in. Yeah. Jermaine, Be- Jermaine Beckford up front. <laughs> oh, <laughs> right. <everybody. laughs> it's good. It's good game. I, I, obviously, I'm, I, I've got. I've been put off because I didn't. I haven't played it enough on the iPad. I think on the phone, it's just too I have, small. I only play it on phone. I, really? Yeah, it's all on iPhone. All while wow. I'm out of work. Yeah, it, well, it, it serves when I've got long train journeys or uh, yeah, yeah. bus trips and stuff between between jobs. It's, oh, okay. It kills a lot of time because, especially as. Uh, it works offline, so when I'm in some sketchy areas uh, where there's not there's not much mobile internet or whatever, I can still mm. play. Okay, so it makes it loads better. Cool. Well, well worthwhile. And uh, last last bit then, um, I tried one today: a Super Super Stickman Golf Two. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Great game. This is it's, it's funny. I, I like it. It's yeah. uh, just like random stages and stuff. Sticky, yeah. sticky walls. You can uh, yeah get sticky balls and <laughs> try and this, this will get lots of power ups and stuff to do lots of different things. There is yeah. And I think on that first level, by the way, it's possible to get a hole in one on every hole. So if you haven't, I, I think hole. there are is it nine holes per course. I can't remember. Yeah, it's, I don't think it's eighteen. I think it's nine. No, it's, holes. Not, no, it's not eighteen. It doesn't go that way. It doesn't go that far. Does yeah. It? So each course, and there's lots, lots of different ones like Candyland, and like you know, the first course is just the golf, isn't it? It's just yeah. A, yeah. yeah. I've I've got a hole in one on every hole on that first course. So if you haven't, oh well, that's, lay that, down the challenge. For yeah, you. that that needs to be done then. And then when you have, you can post your, you can stick your. Uh, your, your your proof screen on, <laughs> on yeah, yeah. Twitter or all. Well, the thing is, the, uh, have you played any a bit the, online with that one? Trying to trying to match yeah. up with your online people. I can't find anybody. <laughs> it's probably no one playing it much <laughs> yeah. anymore. It, it, yeah, it's is, it, is it old? Uh, I'd say it's about yeah, two years. Oh, I'm a, I'm a bit later than I was. I was looking for a spot game to play today. So <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, it's, it's worthwhile. Do you did you did you get a chance to see the Rory McIlroy? Have you had a look at that yet? I'm, I am. Yeah, I'm trying to. I'm trying put to put off by us. <laughs> Basically, yeah, yeah. Because uh, <laughs> again, I, I used to play. I only went really in depth with it one season when it went on um, original Xbox. Yeah, and went through seasons and stuff like that, building uh, building up a player and everything. Yeah. 
Loved that was it. The best one. Yeah, definitely. Loved it. But uh, I were hoping this year we're going to, we're going to be that way, especially with you guys saying you're playing it as well. Yeah. I were like, oh, we'll be able, be able to get on. It's like same again. The, the friends that I were playing with then, I, yeah. I aren't in touch with anymore. So I ain't got that. I ain't got them people around me. Not many people play golf <laughs> in yeah. in my my local local friends and stuff. Mm. Um, and then we we saying that it was it wasn't very good and they were limited. I'm trying to pick it up really cheap, but people yeah. are still trying to sell it at thirty five. Of course they are. I, I, yeah, <laughs> they're trying so, to get a return on their on their wasted money. Which yeah, you know, basically. basically. <laughs> I was trying to negotiate a tenner with somebody. For, he wanted he wanted thirty. Oh yeah, yeah. and I said I'll give you a tenner. He went, no, I want thirty for it. Well, okay. Well, when you've still got it. In two months' time, <laughs> yeah. call me and I'll have it for a tenner off you. And that was I, actually... I said, I said the same thing. I, I went twenty though on mine. I, I didn't mind twenty. It's like a, bu- a fairly budget it's like half price. Really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. What but about it, you, Aaron? Have you? Have any it's, it? Yeah, it's on the download queue of EA Access. Yeah, so I get my what was it? Ten hours. Ten I guess. hours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's more than enough. I, yeah. I, let's just <laughs> say I played out. it. I played it a lot, and I and I've got four hours left. Ouch. Oh, okay, when I say I played it a lot, I played it for six hours. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's the only problem with PS4, we don't get that either. <laughs> I really wish we did. I mean, it was one of the reasons why I bought an Xbox, in a way. Yeah, it's my, it's my I wanted it. Yeah. You know, and the controller and other, other things. But uh, Okay, mate, is that uh, everything? For yeah, that's, that's basically it, because... Uh, my uh, baby, baby arriving and uh, exactly. I, having my other little one off school still. Yeah, being exactly. Extremely giddy that we've got a new baby. <laughs> oh, I bet, yeah. <laughs> they just, they just kind, of, kind of got it away and everything else. So. Cool. Okay, yeah. well, um, I think that'll wrap up uh, this week's show. Of course, we're going to hopefully be back uh, uh, in either audio or audio and video form in the near future. And, um, of course, next week we should have a lot to talk about because we will all have our sticky little mitts on the FIFA 16 yes. demo. Yeah. So, um, anyway, thanks for coming, guys. Uh, so, thanks to Kev. And thank good luck. You, thank you for having us. <laughs> with, with everything you're going to go through the next uh, the next yeah. week or few weeks uh, of those early days. And thanks, Aaron, for thank you very much. Thank sounding you. good, sounding good. And uh, thanks for me. And uh, until next time, uh, we will bid you adieu. So thanks for everybody, and see you next time. Bye bye. Goodbye. Bye bye.